Today's topic is interpolation. So what is interpolation? You have done this many times before. So it's just um, a way to estimate intermediate values between data points. And the most common method we use is what we call as polynomial interpolation. So this is the form of a polynomial. This is the nth order. So we have fx equals to a0 plus a1x plus a2x squared and so on and so on. And in this chapter, we're going to look into several methods of interpolating polynomials, such as the first order, or what we call as linear interpolation, which connects two points, second order, or quadratic interpolation, which connects three points, and the last one is the third order, or the cubic interpolation, that connects four points. The techniques that we will be used in this chapter is Newton's interpolating polynomial and Lagrange interpolating polynomial and this is the um, figure showing the linear interpolation which connects two points the quadratic and the cubic so first order second order and third order interpolation let's look at the first one which is the linear interpolation this is the formula that we use to calculate um, Interpolation if we if it connects only two points, all right. So f one x here designates that this is a first order interpolating polynomial. So you see the subscript one here. It designates first order. If it's second order, we will put f two. If it's third order, it's f three. And we know we we have data points like x naught, um, and we know the f x naught. And then we have the um, x1, we, we know the value of x1, and then we want to estimate the x, all right? And no, the x is no, uh, we know the x, and we want to estimate what is the fx. So let's look at the first example here. Estimate the natural log of 2 using linear interpolation. And given here two data, which is 1 and 6. So you have a two data here. So this is your x and this is your fx. All right. The first one is x naught, which is equals to one. So fx naught is. Look at this point here. All right. Fx naught is zero. So here x is one. Fx here is meaning the ln x. That is the fx. This one. Okay. So ln ln 1 equals to 0 and the second data point which is x1 equals to 6 so fx1 equals to 1.791759 is here right so the question asks you to estimate what is um, ln 2 which, which is when x equals to 2 so what is the fx so this is what actually the problem wants from you. So just use the previous formula and substitute all the values into the formula. Here it means first order f subscript 1 and 2 here means this is the x that you want to estimate the, the, the value using interpolation. Equals to 0 fx0 here this is fx0 0 plus fx1 fx1 is here, 1.791759 minus fx0 is 0 divided by x1 minus x0, 6 minus 1, 6 minus 1. And then here, 2 minus 1 is x minus x0, x is 2 minus 1. So you get this value. Of course, we can know what is the real value of ln 2 by just... Um, punching the calculator. So if you use your calculator and you find out it's ln 2, this is the value that you will get. So you know that this is the true value of ln 2. So we can actually compare the value that we got with the true value and by calculating the true error. True error. So we, we can know that the true error is 48.3%. Now, um, after this, I know that some of you will come to me and ask, do we need to calculate true error for all the example? No, this is just to show you the difference between 
your calculation and the uh, the true value or the true answer for loan two. So this is not compulsory, all right. So this is just want to show you. I want to show the student that your calculation has errors. If we use smaller interval from x naught equals to one to x one equals to four. So previously we used one and six. But if we use smaller interval, we use 1 to 4, we get a better improvement of the answer with true error being reduced to 33.3%. So in this example, I just want to uh, highlight to all of you that the smaller the interval that you use for interpolation, the better your estimation. So your answer will moves further and further closer to the true value so this is your first answer when you use one and six one um, here one and six as your interval and if you use smaller interval in which you use one and four this will be your answer and you can see that it's getting closer to the true value of loan two okay so that's all for linear interpolation. I will see you in my next video for second order or quadratic interpolation. Thank you.